What's going on you guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, with the recent big, big announcements that we've had from RGG Studios, I think it's safe to say that all of us have something to look forward to, or at the very least with the Judgment and the Lost Judgment releases on PC, I think most of us are happy with at least one thing from everything that's uh, come out in the recent uh, days. That being said though, I did want to take the time to talk about a couple of things regarding Like a Dragon Ishian, because as far as I could tell from the gameplay videos, which we are going to take a look at today, there are a couple of interesting things that I'm not sure if everyone is going to like. Alright, so what we have in front of us right now is the gameplay video that GameSpot released for Like a Dragon Ishian. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when I say that there's a couple of interesting things that might, uh, that not everyone might like. So here we go, getting into combat. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is this huge, 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 like, UI on the bottom left of the screen. Um, like a Dragon Ishin has this troop system. Uh, basically you can see, like, the cards over here. This these cards used to be like previously only available in a certain minigame. It's some kind of dungeon crawling minigame where you can basically like go through like hordes of enemies and defeat them and you would get rewards for that, right? And so you would use these cards there to get some kind of buffs or abilities or you know something along those lines. But now they seem to actually want to implement that in the normal combat, which is um Unexpected to say the least. Also, as you can tell, there's damage numbers when you attack or take damage. This is the kind of thing that you would expect to see in RPG games. Or at the very least, if you have like some kind of indicator as to how much health points the enemies do have. Which in here you don't. All you have is the health bar by itself. There's no like maximum number for the health of enemies or for yourself. So it does make me wonder, like, are we going to be able to hide this kind of stuff? Or are we going to have to, like, just keep this on and look at the numbers? And then you have the cherry on top, right? Watch this. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, I don't know what most people are going to think about this. Um, it's uh, very interesting, to say the least. Um, again, this was not in the original Ishin. This is something implemented in the remake, where you can use, like, these crazy abilities. Uh, fucking shoot out laser beams and everything. Now, this isn't exactly anything new, right? Um, if you've played the Judgment games, Judgment or Lost Judgment, you'll know that you're actually able to uh, pull off moves very similar to these with uh, DLC extracts or potions. There's multiple effects in uh, the Judgment games, but uh, among them is being able to shoot out like laser beams right out of your hands. And this looks a lot like that, right? Now the problem is, the the thing in Judgment is optional. Like, it's something that you get uh, through DLC, and it doesn't take up like this big chunk of the screen as you can see here. So in other words, this system is integrated in the normal combat for Ishin, while in Judgment it was an optional kind of thing. So I can see that being a problem for some people, especially when you take into consideration what we're about to see next. So taking a look here. Now, again, we were, we were talking about the troop system. Basically, the troops, they're like uh, cards that, that you have. They allow you to use these crazy abilities or you gain buffs, uh, yada yada yada. You, you get the idea. So, Ishin being the kind of game it is, which is a fan service game, they have a lot of character cards included, which you can use to buff yourself. There's all of these cards, a lot of characters, so you can see like... I'm pretty sure this guy was called Kitakata from Yakuza 5, and then you have a lot of other characters. Now, the part that I was talking about that might be concerning is coming in a bit. Let me actually just go ahead a little bit. Never mind. So, I'm not gonna say too much, but what you're seeing right here is story bosses being able to also use um, all these, like, over-the-top effects, which, again, um... This is very, very, very different from how the original Ishin was. So basically, without saying too much, in the original Ishin, when you fought bosses, it was like, for the most part, clean swordplay, no laser beams, n none of that. But 
I don't want to jump the gun and jump into c conclusions too early, but if this is how it's going to be in the story, then I can see people having a problem with this, because, again, this is kind of... This is a huge, this is not a small thing. And to give you an idea of why this may be important, I'm gonna show you gameplay from the original game so you can see for yourself like the differences between this and that. All right, now here's some original Asian gameplay so you can see for yourself. So as you can see, there's no like huge uh, block of UI on the bottom left. So you can actually see a lot of the screen. I do wonder, like, the gameplay trailers that, that we've seen, I do wonder how final that UI is, because if it is, the, like, the, the final product, then... Honestly, I, I think they could have done a better job with that. Because, like, even the health bar in this, it looks way better here in the original. And then in the remake, it's just a bright red. And if you ask me, it looks a little on the cheap side. Um... But yeah, as you guys can see... This is some Asian combat goodness right here. Um, I thought I should probably share this with you guys because I'm not sure how many people like noticed or even know about this. So I am curious to see what you guys think, like from those who uh, played the original and from those who are uh, new. To Ishin. Because I'll be honest with you guys, I think I'm still gonna have fun with the remake. But it's just like, the way the, the troop system covers a huge chunk of the screen in the remake, I think it is a little jarring. And I'm sure there are people out there that also share the same sentiment. So I really do hope, like in the final product, that we are gonna be able to somehow like either shrink it or maybe even like take it off the screen. But yeah, I just thought I'd put this out there to see what people think of the way they're handling the troop system in the remake. If you did enjoy this video, please do consider liking or subscribing as it does help the channel a lot and I would really appreciate that. And I wanna give a special thanks to my Hanya members and I will see you folks um, next time, whenever that's gonna be. Bye-bye, folks.